<laughs> Hello, my fellow laser enthusiasts. For all intents and purposes, my name is Cubesteak, artist of the mixed media variety. And today we take a very quick look at the Skylight 2.0 by Bliss Lights. If you didn't know already, I did a, a review of the original Skylight on my channel, and it is gross some 187,000 views. Yeah, holy. I had no idea people loved this device that much, so I figured why not give the people what they want? More lasers and RGB, please. Lasers have and always will be the most badass way to liven up a space. Whether it be for parties, gaming, or signaling down the mothership to boogie down with space babes, it's hard to find a situation where lasers wouldn't immediately make the atmosphere 10 times more awesome. Bliss Lights is a company expanding its reach into special lighting effects with laser projection devices like the Skylight, which is currently their bread and butter. The original Skylight offered fun visuals, but it definitely had limitations that made it feel fairly antiquated compared to other devices which, at the time, were already doing what Bliss Lights calls new in their recent model of projector. That said, the Skylight is the installment we knew we wanted, but weren't sure how to ask for, making it the Star Wars edition of tech sequels. It's a little flashier, but not as revolutionary as we may have hoped. I almost said it was the Jar Jar Binks of laser projectors, but that'd be unfair for any product that has ever existed. It. Let's take a look at some of the pros of this device within the context of a revision from 1.0. It has a compact, attractive design. The 5 volt adapter port has been replaced with a USB-C connection port. It features an intuitive, simple button layout, just in case you don't have a smart device or if you're like me and can't keep up with the blasted remote half the time. The Bluetooth application is fun and easy to use, and this unit offers large coverage for parties and events. Many things that worked with the original Skylight we see here again, except for some more convenient revisions, such as the USB-C connection type and the addition of an application to control the device. The application on your phone connects to the Skylight 2.0 via Bluetooth, eliminating any fumbling around with Wi-Fi. I greatly appreciated that. There's nothing I hate more than juggling between Wi-Fi connections like a clown on speed. This app gives you access to several modes with different colors, themes, and RGB levels can be controlled independently to create your own moods. And if you're not the app type, you can still cycle through the effects using the power button on the side of the device. The coverage of this device is still great. Not as good as the Hokeki, but you can still project them to the side of a small building if you want to get the FAA's attention. What made the first Skylight great is still present, but is the use of the same old features worth the second installment, or is the Skylighter one trick pony? Let's talk about some of the drawbacks of this device. It's pricey. The lasers are still one color. The cloud color selections are limited and we still have limited star patterns. No shooting stars. That was pretty freaking awesome on the Hokeki. Critically, controlling the laser and nebula color seems to be what we all wanted in a new installment of this device, but Bliss Light's only partially delivered in this unit. We still can't change the color of the stars themselves, and the nebulas have only three color choices, red, green, and blue. This makes for a missed opportunity that places the skylight far behind some other models of projectors that already feature the entire range of colors within the RGB spectrum. The stars themselves aren't very interesting to look at, they just sort of stick around in a uniform arrangement, with only slight variations in brightness just like the original. You won't be mapping out the cosmos during your intergalactic explorations with this device. As for those who are looking forward to an installment filled with multicolored retina burning laser firing action, I guess Bliss Light stuck with the uh, if it ain't broke don't fix it model, meaning we'll have to wish upon a star that our RGB fetishes can be satisfied through another manufacturer sometime in the future. So can I recommend the Skylight 2.0? Well, if this is your first Starry Night projector and you haven't really tried the original Skylight 1.0, you'll find the features of this device to be more than satisfactory. It's an easy to use unit with impressive visuals and coverage and its intuitive application makes controlling the device fun and easy. While some factors such as limited star patterns and color selections leave you wanting more, if you're in the market to liven up the backgrounds of your streams, put the kids to bed, or bring the disco party with you to your next event, this unit will Will definitely be worth the investment. Hell, I'm in my 20s and I still go to sleep with this thing on. If the Skylight were an old friend at your high school reunion, they'd be the one showing off their graduation diploma. Enough said. Now, if you're someone returning to the Bliss Lights brand for something new, and lasers are more to you than just a means to keep the boogeyman at bay, I'd pass on this model and save my 60 bucks toward a more feature-rich laser projector. There are a crap ton of these things on the market, I mean a crap ton, all with differing patterns and colors, shapes and designs. 
designs. You can't go wrong throwing some doll hairs here and there to try something different. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see which laser projector I have my eyes on. With all that said and done, I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the vid. And in the comments, let us know if you're a streamer looking to deck out the decor of your gaming studio. You might just get a few hits here and there. Again, thank you all so much for watching and Godspeed in return.